everyone, this is Gina. Guess what, it's time for another treasure bag. Now treasure bags, if you're not familiar with them, are a bag of beads that I put together about every other month and then I do several tutorials with them. It is not a subscription bag, you cannot sign up for it or prepay for it. It is available as soon as I release them on my website and I sell them until they are gone. I do not repeat a particular theme so when they're gone, they're gone. And then I move on to a new theme for the next bag. This particular bag is $40 and it's available at ggctreasures.com and there will be a link in the description box beneath the video player so that you can go directly there and get one if you would like. I need to warn you they do sell out fairly quickly so if you're on the fence you might want to make your decision kind of quickly because they do go pretty fast. Now, my bags tend to be bigger than most su subscription bags. They are a really good value, and they are the difference with them are they are full of full strands of beads and um, several components and loose beads. This one is beach themed, and we're going to go ahead and go through it. So, it comes in this nice organza bag, and you will have a list of everything that is in the bag included with it. So this one has 28 items. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it out so you can see there is a lot in this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out. We'll start with the strands and we'll go through each thing that's in the bag and then um, we'll move on to um, some more information about how you can attain one and we'll go from there. Okay, I wanted you to see all of the strands at once and then we'll go through them individually. So these are 10 full strands of beads. Now all of these bead strands in this particular bag are pretty long, longer than average. So um, you're getting hundreds of beads right here. And of course you can see the theme of the colors is sea green, blue, and a white pearlish opaly type of situation here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and look at each strand individually. This is a strand of six millimeter round dyed glass pearls and they are creamy white and you can see with the dyed glass pearls there's no peeling, scraping, weirdness with the paint because they're not painted, they're dyed and they're very nicely put together. And this is, they're very nice to work with. So this is your first strand and it is um, a 16 inch strand and there's approximately 72 beads on it. And then the next strand is um, a 23 inch and that's very long. There's a very long strand. It's 23 inch and these are faceted flat round beads and they are an opal finish and they are six by four millimeter. So they're six millimeter round and about four millimeters thick. And like I said, they have the nice opal look to them, like an opal light. They're very pretty and there are about I think a hundred beads on this so that's a lot of beads it's a really pretty strand and I don't know if the light is you're picking up the way the light is shining through them but they have that really pretty um, opalite kind of glow to them then the next strand it's another faceted flat round type of bead. It's frosted on top, faceted and shiny on the sides. This has a rainbow plating. It's electroplated and it is rainbow aquamarine is what it's called. And this one is a little bit larger. It is an 8 by 5.5 millimeter bead. And this is just, I think this is really pretty and goes with the oceany, mermaidy type theme really well. Very pretty strand of beads. This is a long strand. It is, I believe, a 20 inch strand. So, and there are um, approximately 72 beads on it. So again, you're getting a really big amount of beads here. The next one is a <clears throat> four by four 
by four cuboid bead and this is sea green and um, I use these a lot in my tutorials and stuff I'm sure you've seen these I have also added them in other treasure bags the reason that I like to repeat some beads are so that you when you get your bag if you want to go back to other tutorials I have done or other people have done even it doesn't matter you will have the beads to do that with so you have a choice of what you want to do with the beads in your bag there's a lot of stuff out there that you can do with this particular bead so these are really pretty this is a 15 inch strand and it has about a hundred beads on it and then we are going to go with some dark sea green here and this is a six by four faceted glass and again I have done some tutorials with the faceted glass rice shape um, beads before these are really pretty they have a real nice sparkle and it's a long strand and there are about 67 beads on each strand so again you're getting a lot of beads to work with next we have a um, 21 inch frosted rainbow white column beads. So these are really pretty. They have kind of a rainbow glow to them. You can see the way the colors kind of, um, as you turn them or put them under the light, you can see a little bit of a rainbow plating on there. These are really pretty and they're column shape and I believe they are six by four, but let me catch back up with my list here. So they're 7.5 by four millimeter frosted rainbow white column beads, and there's approximately 72 beads on there. So again, you're getting a lot of beads. Then we have this four millimeter round strand, and this is it's called sea green, but it's looking on my camera kind of lime green, but it has kind of a aqua and green tone to it. it. They're really pretty little beads. It's a decent sized strand. I believe it is um, 14 inches. And like I said, it's called sea green, but it's opaque sea green. And there are approximately 95 beads on here. Then we have a strand of, let's see, blue faceted rondelles. So this is a four by three, or is it a four by three? Yes, this is a four by three rondelle. There's a lot of beads on here, about 125, I believe. And um, this is a nice long strand. It's about an 18 inch strand. You get a whole bunch of beads on this and it's that pretty sky blue color. Nice for spacers, nice for this. You can do a lot of bead weaving with. I have a lot of tutorials with this. So again, I like to put in beads that I've done a lot of tutorials with in different colors in each treasure bag so that you can just go back, revisit other tutorials and play with your things. Or of course, create whatever you want with them. And then we have this strand. These are the... Um, painted crackle glass and these are column beads also these are a little bit bigger they're 7.5 by 4.5 so they're just a little bit bigger than the other column beads but these are <clears throat> turquoise with the sea green through them and again on my camera um, viewer it looks like it looks a little bit different color. It looks more limey to me. This has a nice sea green mossy tone going through the bead and it's more of a turquoise-ish color. So it's a very good sea type of tone. And then we have another set. This is a cuboid. These are called light cyan. However, they seem more like a steel blue to me, but um, they were called light cyan, which cyan is usually 
like this color. So, um, why? I don't know. But when I ordered them, I thought they'd be a little bit more green. They're a little bit more on the blue, steel blue side. But still, I figured they would work really well with the theme because we're doing blues and greens. And I think they'll work out just fine. I actually think they look really pretty with these beads. So, I went ahead and included them, even though they weren't quite the color I wanted. But this is a nice long strand. And it's a 20 inch strand and um, it's 6.5 by 3.5 light cyan luster glass cuboid beads and there's approximately 80 of them and they're really pretty I, I really think these are really pretty they're not the big huge um, rectangular cuboid they're smaller and they're just really cute so this here is the strands that you will get in this particular box and if you look it does look very oceany very it's a they blend very nicely so this these are the strands let me move on I'm going to get the loose beads and pendants ready next and we'll look at those and then we'll look at the metal components and we will be finished so I'll be back in a moment Okay, so as well as putting a whole bunch of strands, full strands in the bag, I like to add some accent beads and um, loose beads. And generally they tend to be a little bit bigger. So you can use them as focals or whatever you would like in your designs. So this is what we have for our loose beads in this theme today. I'm going to start with the these beads here and then I'll show you each one individually. I just wanted you to see them all together to see that that's a pretty generous portion of beads. So we're going to start with these electroplated beads. I've had these before in boxes. People like them so I repeated them. I've had them in kind of a pink golden color. This one is dark cyan and it's 7.5 by 7.5 millimeters and they're a barrel bead of course. Now there are 14 of them in this bag. Usually I put like seven, something like that. But I decided to add more because these are just so pretty and they really work well with accent beads on either side. So like if we were to use this strand with those, so pretty. So I added more so that we could do a little bit more design techniques with this particular bead. Then we have five of these diagonal drilled cubes. Now I'm going to rearrange here and get you in a little bit closer so you can see these. These have a, they're drilled diagonally so <clears throat> they stay on your, um, on your beading wire or whatever you're using at a diagonal. Now I can try to find something to put them on. I should have had a one of um, Misty Moon's little rods or something out, but I don't. But they basically are diagonal drilled, so they are on your wire or whatever you're using um, diagonally. They're very pretty. They're electroplated. They're this sea green color. Very sparkly and pretty, and you have five of those. I have also done some tutorials with the regular, this size of cube, but we will do some with the diagonal now, and um, I think these are really pretty. So let's see, we have five of those, and I'm trying to see, they are 13.8 by 12.6, so they're a very large bead. Then, we, and they'll make a really nice focal. Then we have um, 15 grade AAA crystals here. So I like to add in each box a larger crystal, something very shiny. These happen to be a very nice grade of crystal glass. And I always use this grade when I put the, the accent beads in each bag. This time it's a 10 millimeter round faceted and you're getting five blue, five cyan, dark cyan, or dark sea green, and five crystal clear. These are really pretty beads. And like I said, I like to include some kind of big crystal in each one so that you have an accent in your pieces that um, 
It's just a nice quality, pretty sparkle. So you're getting 15 of these. And then we've got these pretty little fish beads because we got to make this a little whimsical. It's beach themed. So these are spray painted glass is what they're called. And um, there's five yellow and four clear. So you're getting nine of them. I know that's strange, but I didn't quite get my full order of the clear, so this is what we're getting. And they're really pretty. I think they're cute little things. They have a nice little electroplated, they say spray painted, but um, it's kind of a little rainbow glow to them. Really pretty little beads. So you're getting those. And then we have 12 of these imitation jade flower beads. Now, I really like these. I've put different versions of them in past bags, so there are tutorials using the flower beads, and we'll do something pretty with these too. I really like these. Um, you go up through the top because it's center drilled, and you can make them a focal, you know, on peyote, something like that. So, we will be using those. You're getting a nice generous portion of 12 of them, and that is plenty to make something pretty with them. Then we are going to look at these. We've got these starfish beads. Now, I ordered them, and I got tons of them. So <clears throat> I have put 20 of them in each bag, which is a nice, generous portion. They're actually very pretty. They don't look really cheap and weird. They're not plastic. They are glass. And um, there's this pretty little um, aqua color, and they're just really cute beads. So these would make great charms. They'd make great earrings. They would make a nice little pendant if you just put a wire through them and um, put them on a chain. So there's lots of things you can do with these little starfish. They're really cute. I think I want to make a charm bracelet with these and with some of the other little charms that I have in this bag and I'll be showing you those also. So you've got 20 of those and then I got some trumpet shells. These are natural trumpet shells and um, so they're just plain white. You could always spray them with something if you would like to color them, whatever you would like. You can paint them with fingernail polish. Some people do that. Um, I just thought the natural shell was pretty. So you're getting, I believe, did I put 20 in there? I think, um, yes, 20. So you're getting a nice generous portion of those also. And I think these would be really cute. They have a hole here. You could put a, put a jump ring on it. And um, I have a couple components that we could dangle them from. Um, there's lots of things you can do with these and bring in your beachy theme really well with them. So that's what we have for those. And that is the loose beads that are in this bag. So let me show them to you one more time and then we will look at the pendants and the metal components that are included in this bag. All right, let me show you one more time. So that's quite a bit of beads on their own right there. So uh, we added with all the strands, yeah, I got a nice batch of beads to work with there. So let me move on and um, set out my next section of beads here and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the pendants and charms that are in this bag also. So first of all, there's several in each thing. First of all, I want to show you this big pendant you're going to get. This is an opalite. It's a big pointed pendant. I like to include them in a lot of my bags simply because they're a big bold piece and um, you can get them in lots of different colors and gemstones. So I like to include them quite often. And this is, <clears throat> let's see, it is, I'm trying to find how big it is. It's 57 by 10 millimeters at the widest point. So this has a really nice throw of light. You can't probably see it very well on video, but it's a, it's a really pretty nice little um, piece of opalite. And then we have another pendant. I'm just gonna move these aside. This pendant is glass and brass, it's platinum toned, and it has some micropave rhinestones on the top, and it's what they call canine glass. It's a nice, higher quality glass. It's half blue 
and a half. It's like more of the sky blue, so it goes really well with this particular strand. Or even this strand looks really nice. So it's half blue, half green, and just a really nice quality. You can see the back. Really nice quality um, pendant. And let me see if I can see. It is 21 by 10 by 8 millimeters. So it's a nice, decent size. Then we have these little charms here, or they can be used as pendants and an earring, so you could use, there's five of them, so you can make a set with pendant and earrings like this, make two sets of earrings, you can use them on a charm bracelet, or you can just make five necklaces with these as a pendant. So you're getting five of these. They are alloy, enameled alloy with a little enamel or a uh, acrylic pearl, I think, in the middle here. Really cute little charms. Then my favorite are these little flip flops. These are alloy with micro pave rhinestones in them. So you can see they have really cute little, they're just adorable. They have all these little rhinestones in the middle and you're getting two of these. This would make a really cute pair of earrings, just adorable. Or of course you can put them on <clears throat> a um, charm bracelet with all your different little beads make charms they would be really cute on that too so these these are these are my favorite they're so cute I wish I would have ordered more but um, they're a little bit more expensive of course so um, I did include two to make sure we could at least make earrings with them they're just adorable and then we have these little <clears throat> turtle charms and they're very thin very lightweight so they make perfect earrings and charms for a bracelet. They're really cute little things and you have, I believe 12 of them is what I put in the bag. So you have a lot of them to play with. Then I got these mermaids. Now I thought these were gonna be about half as big as they are. They're a good size. However, they would make a really nice um, like focal on a necklace and you could put your beads on either side or you know you can make a keychain out of them dangle stuff down here put this on the keychain up here um you could <clears throat> make a um what do i want to uh light catcher sun catcher um with them there's lots of things you could do they are only one-sided but what I've been known to do in the past, if it would work, no, it won't work. I've been known to glue two together, but with these, it won't work. Um, they're really cute little things. But that's kind of up to you how you want to use them. Um, I've included three of them, and they're just they're cute little whimsical things for this particular theme. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab the rest of the components and we'll look at those without me going off camera here. <clears throat> now I have put this chandelier component in a past bag. I think I put two of them, I, I'm not sure. But you're getting one of these and the reason I went ahead and included it is because I have a ton of them and um, also because I thought this would be really cute to dangle shells and things from. I thought it, we could make a really pretty um, beach theme type of dangly necklace with this. Now these shells are kind of big for this but I think I could come up with something make this really full through here and have shells coming down. I think we could do something really pretty with this. So I've included one of these components and then I have these little reducer chandelier components. So they have one loop on one side, three on the other, and they're platinum tone. And for some reason, there are nine in the bag. <laughs> That's a very odd number. And I know you're all gonna go, why are there nine? But there's nine. So um, that must have just been the way the math broke down with the amount of beads that I had or the amount of components I had. I don't remember making that decision, but there are nine. So, um, you can do a lot with these. You can do them as a necklace. You can do them as a multi-strand bracelet. There's a lot you can do with these multi-reducer type of chandelier components, and you're getting a lot of them to work with. <clears throat> then, 
some toggle clasps. You're getting 10 toggle clasps. These are more on the petite side and um, they're antique silver tone and they have little lines in them. They're, they're cute, rather plain, just basic toggle, which is really nice when you're making your pieces. Um, it just, it doesn't take away from them and it doesn't add to them. It's just there. So I like that about these. So you're getting 10 of them. <clears throat> when you have this many beads in a bag, you kind of need a lot of um, toggles to end them with. So I've put a lot in this bag. So what you'll notice is the portions this time are more generous. That's um, in each of the individual bags. You're getting more generous portions of the um, components and loose beads. This is a cable chain, platinum tone, and you're getting two meters of it, which is a lot. The only issue with two meters in a bag is it likes to tangle a little, so you just have to gently untangle it. But you're getting two meters. That's a lot of chain. You can do a lot of bracelets, a lot of necklaces, whatever you'd like with it. So that is what is in this bag, 28 items. I'm going to arrange them. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I messed up. I left out some pendants. I knew I had more pendants than that. I was wondering why it looks so. Um, these are shell pendants, and they're really pretty. They have that mother of pearl type of glow to them, and um, you're getting two of them. And of course, they are hearts. And if I can find them real quick, let me see. Um, I can tell you how big they are. So they're 20 by 21 by 3.5. So 3.5 thick and they're 21 long, 20 across. They're just adorable. And these will go really nicely with the rest of the theme here. Sorry about that. I almost forgot those little cute little hearts. Now I'm going to go put all of this in a pile and make it look pretty and I will come back and show you the entire collection. Okay, so here's the entire collection. Just a lot of really pretty beads. So if you like this collection and you would like one, go over to ggctreasures.com and go ahead and purchase one. And then come back later, probably in about a week, and we will begin to do some tutorials with these particular beads. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and run on over. They sell out quickly, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.